eight perfumes for the summers only from the brand Al Bayt Al Dimaski. So stay tuned to watch in detail. What's up guys, this is Yasa. Welcome back to my channel. You're watching Yasa's Fit Frag. Today I'm gonna to talk about eight summer fragrances only from the bad Albert Aldimashki, which is a UA brand, very popular these days. They have their own showroom as well, and they are very well known for creating inspired versions and they make the best inspired versions from, from whatever I have tried till date. They are one brand which makes the closest and the best clones popular designers and niche brands and most of them perform well okay so at number eight is Albert Dimashki's YSL myself this is on their premium side I'm talking about YSL Y myself personally this is not my favorite but this is a beast mode for the summers guys if you have tried YSL Y Kuro Silver you'll be able to relate to this one a lot this is an apple note there is aldehyde this basil that kind of a dna but it smells a little too synthetic to my nose i generally don't like aldehyde sort of a dna but aldehyde is one note that performs really well in the summer so if you care about performance why sell why myself is definitely a must try three hours of projection nine ten hours of lasting is what i get with that one at number seven is from slightly premier side of Albert Aldimashki, which is Hashivat Unisex. They have named it differently, but this is a clone of Hashivat. Now, Hashivat is from Nishani, in case you didn't know. So, it has that Creed Aventus DNA of pineapple, citrus, woody note, but there is an oak moss dry down. So, that's where Hashivat makes a difference and it performs really nice again. Two and a half hours of projection. 8 9 hours of lasting is what I get with this one. Nishane Hashivat Unisex. At number 6 is YSLY O the Parfum Inspiration. In case you do not know how the original is, this is the original. This is EDP O the Parfum. Latafa Fucker, if you have tried, that is the EDT inspiration. There was another one from Pandora which is called Y Beyond. That is also on the EDT, EDT style. This is the only one which I felt is more close towards the EDP version. Apple, there is sage, there is woody base. That sage is really prominent in Albert Aldimashki, which makes it quite closer to YSLY or the perfume. I would say about 85%, maybe 90%. And it performs really nice. Two hours of projection, eight plus hours of lasting. This also gives me something similar. Okay, so coming to the next one. The next three are my personal favorites but they are not really great with performance they are still pretty decent five to six hours but i'm somebody who really cares about the smell character they're very refined it smells very appealing to the nose at number five is bloody okay this is more on the bloody channel edt style in case you do not know how bloody channel is this is edp but this is more on the edc edt style more fresh citrus there is watermelon and a very smooth sandalwood as well very beautiful creation but not the best in terms of performance when i compare this with blue by ahmad al maribi which is more on the perform version side i still prefer this one okay because this is more refined this is smooth this is lighter this is great with performance this is not great with performance one hour of or well, maybe one and a half hours of projection if you're indoors Five, six hours of lasting is what I get, but I really love this one, guys. I like smooth blends in general. Performance is secondary for me always. At number four is Aqua D Geo Men. This is the EDT inspiration. In case you do not know how the EDT bottle comes, this is the Aqua D Geo EDT version. I would say this is one of the best clone that I've tried till date. Citrus, aquatic notes, jasmine, neroli. Beautifully done. Okay, very beautifully done. 85% similar, except that typical Alberto Moria's aquatic note, which is obviously missing in this one. And because of that, it won't project like this one, but doesn't mean that this is great with performance. This is very light, but it still has that airy projection, which many people love, including me. Some people get the X smell because of that aquatic note. 
people who are not used to smelling different sort of fragrance they might get that egg and fish smell with that aquatic note but otherwise once your nose is used to all these kind of uh, aquatic ambrox and sort of DNA then you won't sense it because I used to get that egg feel like I would say 18 years back okay 18 years back when I was new into fragrances and I sold my first bottle to one of my colleagues that time now I don't get it uh, I, it happens with Bulgari Marine as well so keep that in mind don't buy I mean don't blind buy and then blame it on me saying that oh you told this and oh, it smells like egg and fish so no guys you have to get experience to understand these this is the best clone of Aqua di Gio from Armani EDT not great with performance again not that this is great because this also gives like five hours six hours so this is something similar one hour of projection five hours of lasting at number three the last one from my personal favorites okay at number three Aqua di Gio Profondo Albeit Al Dimashki. Again, one of the best clones that I've tried. Profondo looks something similar. This is black, but Profondo comes in a very dark navy blue sort of a bottle. Very similar design, and that's why I'm showing this. So, in case you want the best clone of Profondo, definitely try this one. It smells kind of Acodizio EDT, but with some added patchouli note, which is more watery, more aquatic. So that's where it is different. So I really love this one. You can definitely check it on. Check this one out in the first hour this project's really nice and that's where i get compliment with aqua Digio profondo okay performance is not bad five to six hours is what i get now coming to the last two and my favorite three are done which i just covered before this the last two are something that i like and they perform really well and that's why i wanted to keep it in the last two because majority of my viewers they care about performance so i thought i'll keep something that is good with smell good with compliments good with performance as well so at number two is terity man by albeit al dimaski i have all the four variants oops i just dropped the wheels guys okay so i was about to show you this one so i have four different wheels 1.5 ml EDT, EDP, Parfum and the Vetiver. So, Terry Man by Albert Dimoski is definitely about 80 to 85% similar, but there is an amped up amber note which makes it very strong, very powerful, even stronger than the original. So it performs like a beast mode, guys. I get compliments in the fifth hour as well with this one in high summer heat, okay? I personally don't enjoy smelling this one up close immediately after spraying it but I think it smells very different because generally I've seen Terry D. Admiss wet even note which comes in the base really suits my skin and I usually get compliments from my wife. I get compliments from others as well. When I wore this I got complimented with this one after five hours from one of my relative not just my wife. Relative okay so it looks like Terry Hermes sort of a vetiver DNA really suits my skin. So it all depends on skin to skin again. But this is a beast mode in performance. In the fifth hour, if I had to get compliments, that means it's still projects. And it lasts 9-10 hours from what I've tested. So that stays at number two. And at number one, Albert Dimaski light blue forever. The reason why I'm placing it at number one, because this is very appealing to the nose. It smells very, very similar to Italian love, which is citrus and vetiver sort of a blend. It's actually inspired by light blue forever. Okay. But from what I've tested, it smells more close towards the Italian love. It is a very bright sparkling bergamot here, along with a beautiful fresh vetiver note with some woody and musk in the base. Absolutely appealing, great with performance and it smells great to people's nose okay so that's about it i hope you enjoyed the video let me know in case you have tried this comment down in the comment section see you next time soon keep sharing the videos cheers